hip hop, specifically rap music, could influence generations with positivity and revolutionary thought and ideology. And even in the early 90s, we got into black nationalism and consciousness as a result of hip hop. And to me, that was so large, so beautiful, so awesome that people were learning from the music. Right now, all you can learn from the music is stuff that you don't want your kids to do, with very few exceptions like Jasari X and Timothy Taylor, uh, Immortal Technique, some common, some most deaf, but the majority of the music that's out there, the MCs, are just teaching things that hurt us and kill us and defame us and divide us between us and our women, us and our children, us and our spiritual leaders. I saw hip-hop as a revolutionary force. It still has the power to be a revolutionary force. And when I'm talking about revolution, I'm not talking about armed revolution, I'm talking about mental and spiritual revolution, consciousness, where you learn to feed, clothe, shelter, and empower your own people. And you don't have to ask the government for nothing, nada, zilch. We do for self. And that's what the music was doing, and that's why they brought in Easy e and N.W.A. and all that gangster, gangster nonsense. I have a solution, but it's a deadly one. But Most Def taught us something in one of his songs. He said that a lot of us think of hip hop as some giant living up in the woods, up in the hills. We are hip hop. And if hip hop is whack, all it is is a black mirror. It shows us how whack we are. And we need to educate our youth that that's not cool, that's not hip, that's nihilistic. And all it's doing is filling up the prisons and feeding them the prison industrial system, which is linked to the military industrial system, which is linked to the non-education of our people. By teaching our people peace, love, understanding, overstanding, and unity, and having fun. By going back to those principles, we can make a profound difference in our youth. Each of us has to be a poor righteous teacher. Each of us has to educate, lift, and, and bless our children. We have to do that. And if you fail, the schools, the churches, and all the mother pimps are not going to be able to do it. We have to do it ourselves. So yes, there's a chance, and that's for each of us. If you're a man, stand up and be a man. If you're a woman, stand up and be a woman. And if you love yourself and you love your people, then stand up.